Tottenham are confident of signing Ivan Perisic on a free transfer from Inter Milan. Spurs have made the 33-year-old a contract offer, with his deal at Inter coming to an end. Further talks are expected on Monday, when Perisic is set to make a decision on his future, also amid another offer from Inter. Transfer Center Live, Paper Talk, Conte preparing for next season at Spurs after Paradici talks. Tottenham transfer rumors. Get Sky Sports, live football on Sky Sports. The Croatia international, who has 113 caps for his country and scored in the 2018 World Cup final, has been at Inter since 2015. He won Serie A last season. Under Tottenham head coach Antonio Conte after spending the 2019-20 season on loan at Bayern Munich where he lifted the Champions League. Perisic worked under Spurs boss Antonio Conte at Inter Milan. The pair could be set to reunite with Conte preparing for next season at the club after talks with managing director of football Fabio Paradici on Friday. Conte has been told the club aimed to sign at least six or seven players, as Spurs look to back the Italian in the transfer market. Spurs are targeting several areas, with goalkeeper, centre-back, wing-back, central midfielder and striker among the positions they plan to strengthen. Conte deployed Perisic at left wing back during his time at Inter after bringing him back into the fold. Spurs clearly backing Conte this summer. Antonio Conte clearly has the backing of the Spurs board, writes Paul Gilmore. Sky Sports News reporter Paul Gilmore. Following the news that Tottenham have put in £150 million of equity funds into the club, the club are clearly backing Antonio Conte in the transfer market this. They will target several positions including goalkeeper, centre-back, wing-back, central midfielder and a striker. As many as six or seven players could arrive, they will need to find the right balance with homegrown players. There is currently an imbalance in this area. Conte wants more depth in the squad, and he also wants to add experienced players, a shift from recent times when Spurs targeted younger players. There are some at the club who feel it's inaccurate they didn't spend in the past but there is an acknowledgement they didn't always get recruitment right. Fabio Paradici can do no wrong at the club currently. Additions of Rodrigo Bentancur and Dejan Kulisevsky have given belief that they are finally getting it. Right in this area, extensive homework is being carried out on player ability and character. Spurs recently rejected the chance to sign one talented Premier League player. Because their research highlighted concerns he could be a disruptive influence. Neville. Conte has done a brilliant job. Sky Sports pundit Gary Neville has heaped praise on head coach Conte for delivering Champions League football for Tottenham next season. Speaking on the Gary Neville podcast, the former Manchester United defender said, We were at the North London Derby 10 days ago and even if Arsenal had beaten Newcastle, I still think Antonio Conte would have stayed because of what he experienced that night. Where are you going to get this competitive element? These atmospheres in Europe at this moment in time? You're not. He's done a brilliant job at Tottenham, he's been assisted by the capitulation of Manchester United and the fall of Arsenal, but he's done a good job and was always going to. I am very clear that he isnt the right manager for Manchester United but you can say someone's not the right manager for your club but Hestel a great manager. The others have got Tuchel, Conte, Klopp and Guardiola, they're animals, they win trophies all the time. They stand on the touchline and can almost eat you. Alive with their presence and aura. The rest have a long way to go. Follow the summer transfer window with Sky Sports. Who will be on the move this summer when the transfer window opens on June 10th and closes at 11pm on September 1st? Keep up to date with all the latest transfer news and rumors in our dedicated Transfer Center blog on Sky Sports digital platforms. You can also catch up with the ins, outs and analysis on Sky Sports News.